this is my Hyasung GV650 Aquila. Um, it's, I've had it for a couple of months now. It's a 2010 model. And yeah, it goes alright. Haven't really had any uh, too much dramas of it or anything. Haven't done that many Ks yet. Let me just get through these lights. You can hear it sounds beautiful. And it's not too loud. So if you're just coasting around the neighborhood, you're not going to disturb everyone. So if you pull back on the throttle, it gives it a bit of a guts. Uh, kick in the gut so you get a bit of sound. Uh, the dramas I've had is the speedo is about 10% out of whack so it says I'm going faster but it says I'm going slower than I am so when I'm sitting on 66 I'm actually going 60 kilometers an hour it's about 10 k's out. It seems to be a common thing with higher songs see I'm keeping up with this car here and I'm sitting on 66 in the 60 zone so the speedo is definitely out oh yeah it's a really nice cruiser to ride I ride it daily to work just do my commute with it there's no storage on the bike so I've got to wear a backpack but that's all right everything fits in the backpack for me and it works well bike's nice and shiny, get pl plenty of looks as you're riding around, people compliment you, they say, oh that's a nice looking bike, don't really know what to say, he's like, oh thanks, probably wouldn't have bought a really crappy looking bike if I had the choice, so I guess it's a good thing. So it's a 650cc, it's pretty good. classified as a sports cruiser basically it's got the same engine as the sports version of the high song I think it's SV650 and they've just whacked it into a cruiser so it's got plenty of pretty of torque pretty up and go gear change ever then. So I was just riding along here, it's a beautiful day up here in sunny Darwin, Northern Territory, Australia. And just cruising out, having a look at the wharf. Stokes Hill Wharf, that's what it's called, and it's got restaurants on it as well. So you can always stop here and have a feed when they're open. And it's a beautiful view. All the ships out there. I'm sailing in and this comes into like Darwin Harbour. If you get cruise ships, they dock at the other end of this wharf, where the international docker is. And plenty of tourists will come up here, so it's a bit of a tourist hot spot. Any fishing. Yeah. One thing though, people will dawdle in front of you and walk around here. So be careful when you're riding. I wrote first time I rode around here when I've just got my motorcycle. All these car parks were full, and now just people just walking along like like the um, the right away on the road, which they do to a degree, but it's just a polite thing to put, to move over to one side. But they'll just plod it along in their own little worlds. They're all on holiday mode, that's probably why. So this part here was um, actually part of the... Uh, during World War II, we got bombed. Um, Japanese planes flew over and bombed the wharf here and the surrounding areas in an attempt to cripple any fleets coming out. This looks all new, so I don't know how much of a wharf they had back then. Might have just been wooden planks.
Yeah, the bike is quite nice. It's felt heavy when I first got it because I'm a learner and this is my first motorcycle that I've owned. Um, I did do the metal motorcycle course and we learned on Yamaha's, they were 250cc little trail bikes and uh, they were pretty light compared to this. But, um, you get used to the weight pretty quick. It doesn't feel that heavy to me anymore. And I've kind of got an idea of the weight and how it feels. Uh, someone crossing there, so I better stop. So this part here is the waterfront. Uh, you've got free public parking for two hours if you park in the car park just ahead here to my left. And there's also street parking, but it's multi-tiered, that one on the left. Just gotta watch out on the motorcycle. People don't always see you. So I gave that guy a polite toot. Make sure it reminds him to check left and right before driving out. Because it is 40 along here, and if I was going 40, it could have been bad. Actually, let's have a look down here. So down there to my right, you got Deck Chair Cinema. It's open during the dry season. I haven't been there yet. And this is the other end of the wharf, where if you're on an international ship, like a cruising ship or something, that you'll come out to. If you're on your own yacht or something, you, I don't know if you come through here or, or what, you park it up somewhere and come to customs here, or, I'm not too sure. To go much further. Let's turn around. Well, maybe it's open now. No, it is. These are all apartments. Pretty expensive to live here, but it's a nice view if you can afford it. So my highest song Aquila 650, GV 650, or in America it's called Avatar. Um, just completely stock. Got the stock exhaust on it. It's pretty heavy exhaust, but it looks boss. People always look at it and go, wow, it's fat exhaust. Plenty up and go to get up a hill. This thing won't dawdle, eh? It's got plenty of power. It's good. I've ridden scooters before and they're only 50cc. And those things are going up here, you'd be struggling. I think you'd just go. Yeah, so the bike's pretty good. You can see it's got a digital display there. Um, 
has a speed limit obviously which is good but it doesn't have a taco you don't really need it would be nice to have to satisfy any curiosity of how much revs you got uh, now that's pretty good uh, fuel gauge yeah you leave a show full or empty it just changes depending on what mood it's in wouldn't really rely on it, but I'll just go on the kilometres. I know I'm going to get about 250 before I have to start looking for a petrol station. I still have fuel in it, depending on how much I've driven it. Or ridden, I should say. But um, yeah, about the 250 kilometre mark is when I start looking for a fuel sta uh, station, petrol station. Now, I filled this up before with the ethanol petrol 91 Ron. Man, that was shit. It caused my bike to really idle crap. So I would not recommend that fuel. I just gave it a go, you know. I didn't realise I was at Bowser and put the ethanol one in. It wasn't that good, eh? Would not recommend it. So the last two times I've been filling this up with 98 Ron, bit of a bit of over the top. It's the highest um, grade petrol you can get for cars and motorcycles. But that just helps it. Um, the guy who owned it before me had it in storage for a while so the injectors were clogged and he cleaned them out but every now and then I just give it a, a flush through just to help it if there's any more stuff stuck on from the old fuel stuck on the injectors and it seems to be pretty good so, yeah it's lovely it's, to ride this it's so comfortable the seat's nice and comfortable you can just sit on it all day, really. But I haven't ridden for more than, say, an hour, and it's been all right. Um, the chrome on the mirrors, though, it's a bit tacky. A bit flaked off here in the reservoir for the brakes as well. So you don't really notice it from distance. can adjust the foot pegs to bring them closer to your, to uh, the back of the motorcycle if you're a short person but I think you'd be alright if you're short anyway because the seat ride is pretty low down on this thing uh, you wouldn't really have too much of a drama and the foot pegs are forward facing you can um, yeah if you turn the corner a bit sharp your boot will actually touch the corner like the back of your boot or your heel will touch the road as you go around just give it a little reminder that you can't really tip this bike over as what you could on, say, a sports bike or something like that. But if you've got a cruiser, you want something that's you know, comfortable and probably a bit sluggish, a bit heavy. Probably not after a sports bike style handling. So that was Mitchell Street, the main street in Darwin City. A lot of uh, restaurants along there and some bars. Some more restaurants here. Used to be a hog's breath there but they've knocked it down. I think they're going to build apartments there. A lot of building and construction going on in the city. There's a lot of demand for housing. So it's really driving it. It's also driving the price up. So, yeah, good for investors, I guess, but not if you're just mum and dad, property owner and living in it, and just making ends meet. You'd find it really hard to live in the city. Or if you wanted to save money, you'd find it hard to. Yeah, it's such a nice day. It's a dry season, so I'm wearing my full gear. I've got jacket, gloves, pants, boots, and it's, it's quite warm. It's not uncomfortable. The pants are a little bit uncomfortable. They don't get the air going through them as much as the shirt does. But um, yeah, 
Not as bad as the wet season. I'd be quite murring all out if I was during the wet season riding around. I think it's pretty easy on this bike. It's got rear disc and front disc brakes. It's got two discs on the front, one on the back. Well, I mostly just use my rear brake to stop 